Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a topic that I've been pretty excited about making a video for for some time now. Specifically, we're going to take a look at how I write music to picture for films. By the end of this video, you'll have a behind the scenes look at how I write music for film, a look at some of the instruments and plugins that I use to achieve the overall sound, and some tips to help you get started in your next project as well. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to support the channel and to not miss out on the latest content. Let's go ahead and jump into the queue. We'll play the entire opening scene, which is about a minute long, and then we'll look how I started and achieved the overall sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down into three parts, the standard orchestral instrumentation, the underlying synth elements, and then all of the little extras and sound design elements I use to glue the whole scene together. Let's go ahead and take a look at the orchestral instrumentation. To start, I really just created some basic violin ostinatos and then created some octaves with the cello and bass around it. And we seal it off with some collegnos to really bring in that percussive element to the strings. Also, it added in there some tense cello longs as well to give it that high end, just really suspense feeling. Most of this was scored with chamber strings by Spitfire Audio. From there, I added in some live hand percussive elements as well. Let's take a look at those. Alright, from there, let's move on to some of the synth elements that I brought into the queue. So as you hear, there's a rhythm pulse going on underneath. I believe I did that with Bravo from Hybrid 2 and some patches from Omnisphere, ironically called Chelosaurus, that make some really awesome sounds that sound very close to a dinosaur. With those combined, you get this really cool effect and just build underneath of the actual orchestral instrumentation that really fills out the cue itself. And that's most of the synth elements that were added for the entire project. Also part of my job was to deliver some of the sound design elements for this film as well. Some of the screeches and sounds that you hear from the T-Rex. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. For those, what I did is I actually recorded myself and my wife and ironically my two-year-old son screaming into a microphone and then I distorted it with a bunch of different plugins to give it the effect I was looking for. Let's take a look at that now.
And so that's after it affected with a, a great deal of plugins. Let's take a look at the source sound and hear what that sounded like. Sounds pretty terrible. All I did was take our screams, I time stretched it, and then add a ton of plugins. Uh, I pitch shifted it, added some EQ, added some reverb, distortion, a bit crusher, and of course, some black hole reverb. And then you get this. And that's my two-year-old son. Now the ostinato based theme that I wrote actually worked out really well with the chase scene. I just had to make sure that everything synced up perfectly with the sounds coming from the dinosaur and make sure that all the hit points matched perfectly. Let's take a look at how that lines up one more time. And that's really it. That's how I start a cue. That's how I build it and fit it to sync to picture. If you made it this far, I really hope you found something valuable that's gonna help you on your next music or sound designing project. We are bringing you weekly demos and tutorials focused around post-production film audio. So if you found this helpful, please consider subscribing to support the channel and to not miss out on the latest content. I really hope to see you around for the next one.